Hey, what is up guys, and welcome to Colossal Exercise. Today we are going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, and I should probably wear something green, right? That's that's fitting. I don't know if I own anything that green, really. Um, no, you know what? Actually, I do own one thing that's like, it's like kind of green. Uh, so, let's see. Okay, yeah, let's do this, uh, let's do the skit without the mask on. Stuck that in there. Oh, what the hell, give me the bow tie. Okay, in today's video, we are going to be celebrating St. Patrick's Day. What actually, what is St. Patrick's Day? Why do we celebrate St. Patrick's Day again? Uh, 1903. In the UK, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, would present bowls of shamrock flown over the island to members of the Irish Guards in the British Army. The tradition carries on today with the Irish Guards still wearing shamrocks flown over from Ireland. So I guess, uh, I guess that's why everybody gets loaded in March. Okay. Now in honor of St. Patrick's Day and green beer and all that is green and alcohol related, I wanted to make a video stating 10 facts you may or may not have known about beer. Now I don't actually have any beer in the house right now and I need to make a thumbnail so here's some Diet Dr. Pepper. It's gonna have to do. Fact number one, beer is actually 90 to 95 percent water. So that being said, go get hydrated folks. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. It actually has the opposite effect. It will dehydrate you and give you a nasty headache. Fact number two, beer is really high in carbs. The average beer has about 13 grams of carbs in it and looking at this loaf of bread here, two slices of bread, this is whole wheat bread, two slices of bread uh, is 28 grams of carbs. So depending on the size of beer you're drinking, one beer is going to equal one and a half to two slices of bread. There's a sandwich in every beer. Fact number three, muscular people in comparison to somebody of really high body fat actually have a higher alcohol tolerance. This is because muscle tissue is more efficient at absorbing water. Fact number four, proteins and carbs both have four calories per gram. Fats have nine calories per gram, and in between those, alcohol is seven calories a gram. Keep that in mind when you're drinking. Those calories add up fast, especially if you're, you know, this isn't just beer, this is alcohol in general. So if you're mixing alcohol with, I don't know, pop that's already full of sugar and calories, boy, that is a lot of calories. Fact number five, beer can prevent kidney stones. Kinda. It reduces your risk by up to 40%. Fact number six, beer can actually help the growth and development of your bones and connective tissue. This is due to one of the many nutrients found in beer called silicon. And moderate drinkers, yes, yeah, put the keg away, I said moderate drinkers, are actually 38% less likely to develop osteoporosis. Fact number seven, beer is actually good for your digestion. This is because beer is high in carbohydrates and some of those carbohydrates are fiber. Fact number eight, beer drinkers are actually 40 to 60% less likely to suffer a heart attack. This is due to the blood thinning effect that the high amount of vitamin B6 that's in beer has on the body, which by nature prevents the production of blood clots. And to add onto that fact, another fact, due to the nature of the blood thinning, beer drinkers reduce the chance of stroke from 25 to 40%. Fact number nine, and the fact that probably all of us already knew, and that is that beer reduces your levels of stress. This is due to the trigger release that happens in your body when you see and taste beer. It's, it's a dopamine release. And the last fact for today is that beer does not actually create beer bellies. That is just a myth, it's just a stereotype. Beer is an organic drink, it's low in sugar, you know, and it actually has less calories than drinking wine would have, or drinking vodka and mixing it with pop. It's actually lower in calories than most alcoholic beverages. The problem is that you drink too much of it. All those liquid calories can get away from you and you're in environments where you have beer and wings, or beer and french fries, or beer and nachos, or you go to parties and there's chips, you know, it's all, it's the lifestyle that comes with drinking a lot of beer, not necessarily the beer itself. So those are 10 health facts about beer and its relation to the body, but uh, those aren't that fun. Let's give you some fun ones. Beer is often associated with men and masculinity and having a nice cold beer after a long day of hard work. But originally, beer was highly associated with women. In fact, 
Making beer was a woman's job. Only the noble, the elite, or, or the most beautiful could make beer. In fact, in ancient Egypt, there were actually laws against men making beer. Like, leave it alone, the women got this. And one more bonus fact. In 1814, there was a brewery in London. There was a brewery, brewery, that had an explosion. It was an explosion of beer. 1.2 million liters of beer exploded. It created a literal beer tidal wave, a beer tsunami, if you will. And it flooded the pub and it flooded the streets and everybody was happy. It was a very exciting, fortunate event for the people, except for the nine people that died. But for everyone else, it was a, it was a really good time. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for tuning into my channel. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. That would really help me grow. Leave a like if you liked it, and stay tuned for more videos. Colossex out.